Hello everyone, welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, we will enable self-service signup for our Azure Active Directory tenant and add a self-service signup user flow to an app using Azure AD portal. For applications you build, you can create user flows that allow a user to sign up for an app and create a new guest user account in your Azure Active Directory. A self-service signup user flow defines the series of steps the user will follow during signup, the identity providers you will allow them to use and the user attributes you want to collect. You can associate one or more applications with a single user flow. Keep in mind that you can only associate user flows with apps built by your organization. User flows can't be used for Microsoft apps like SharePoints or Teams. Before you can add a self-service signup user flow to your applications, you need to enable the feature for your tenant. After it is enabled, controls become available in the user flow that let you associate the user flow with an application. Sign in to the Azure Active Directory portal as an Azure AD administrator. You can access it using the URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com. On Azure Admin Center portal, click on Azure Active Directory. We are using user account with global administrator role for this video. Under Manage section, click on User Settings. Under External Users, click on Manage External Collaboration Settings link. Set the Enable Guest Self-Service Signup via User Flow Toggle to Yes. Click on Save to save the changes and wait for the confirmation message. We get the message that it has successfully updated external collaboration setting. Let me dismiss it and uh, let me close it. Close this as well. Next. We will create the user flow for self-service signup and add it to an application. Under favorite, click on Azure Active Directory. Under manage, click on external identities. Under self-service signup, click on user flows. Right now, we don't have any user flow created in our organization. Click on new user flow to create a new one. If this new option is not available, means the self-service signup setting is not enabled in Azure Active Directory tenant. On the create page, enter a name for this user flow. Note that the name is automatically prefixed with B2X underscore one underscore. Now specify the name of your choice. Here I'm giving name msft-s3-user-flow. The unique string used to identify this user flow in request to Azure Active Directory. This cannot be changed after a user flow has been created. In the identity providers list, select one or more identity providers that your external users can use to log in to your application. Azure Active Directory is a default identity provider for self-service signup. This means that users are able to sign up by default with an Azure Active Directory account. I'm also going to select Microsoft account option as well. In your self-service signup user flow, you can also include social identities providers like Google and Facebook, Microsoft account and email one-time passcode. But at this moment, we have only two identity providers here, Azure Active Directory Signup and Microsoft Account that we have selected. User attributes are values collected from the user during self-service signup. Azure Active Directory comes with a built-in set of attributes, but you can create custom attributes for use in your user flow. Click on Show More to see the list of all default attributes. Right now, we can see only five attributes are there, given name, surname, city, country, region, or display name. 
If you want to see more, then click on show more link. Here we can see certain other attributes are also listed here. I'm going to select a given name as well. Uh, see, email address is already selected. So that is going to be there. Uh, next, I'm going to select given name. Uh, where is the surname? Surname. And where is the display name? And if you want, you can also collect users country or a region attribute. After selecting the required attributes, click on OK. Keep in mind that you are able to only collect attributes when a user signs up for the first time. After user signs up, they will no longer be prompted to collect attribute information even if you change the user flow. So you need to take care about that as well. Now we are ready to create new user flow. Click on create button. The new user flow appears in the user flows list. If necessary, then you can refresh the page. To modify the existing user flow, click on user flow name. From here, you can modify settings and customize user flow page layout. So here we have information about the identity providers that we have selected. If you click on it, then you have the options there. Again, click on overview. And here we have information about user attributes. Let's click on it. Uh, here we can see the attributes we have selected, country, display name, given name and surname. Let me again click on overview. To add applications to the SAP service sign up user flow, click on applications. Click on add applications at top bar. And from the list, select the application or use the search box to find the application and then select it. At this moment, I don't have any application published in Azure Active Directory, so I'm going to cancel it. So this is how you can add a self-service signup user flow to an application in Azure Active Directory. That concludes the video on how to enable self-service signup for our Azure Active Directory tenant and add a self-service signup user flow to an application using Azure Active Directory portal. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.